fellow Comtechers, this is Mr. McDaniel here, and we're going to be working with this program that's on the network called Blender. This is version 2.72. First thing we need to do is we're going to be deleting this block that's here. Uh, let's just click somewhere in the middle there on that. Hit delete, and then click OK. Yeah, bye-bye. Then you're going to create some text. So we're going to go to text and you'll see the text tool is there. All right, so we're going to go down, and the goal is to create a Roar TV three-dimensional letter uh, that we can manipulate later in After Effects. So we're going to edit. Now you can see that we're in edit mode, and we can now remove the default text, and we're going to type in Roar TV. All right. Now, We need to be able to extrude this text, so this has been uh, the part I'm trying to remember. We'll go back into object mode. Okay, you can see this is now highlighted, and we just need to find the menu um, that allows us to get this text to extrude. Siobhan Moore to the main office, please. Siobhan Moore to the main office. Okay, so this has been, oh, and I remember now. So you're going to pull this menu over, okay, and you click on F. F. So that is allowing us to manipulate that object. So let's just look at some of the other things here. This is an object constraint. Uh, this has to do with the, looks like the appearance of a camera world, uh, box, um, and it's got location. This is a transform tool that can be uh, used to manipulate the different things. Um, so, yeah, there's an image, uh, render, uh, render layer. So it's quite a it's quite a complex program, as you can see, but we're just going to mess with F because that's what I know. So we're going to go with text, and right here where it says extrude, we're going to start clicking on extrude. Alright, so we're going to make this text three-dimensional as we grow it out. And I think we're going to try to get to like 150. Now I'm sure there's a smarter way to do this, but I don't know what it is yet. So we're going to go to 150, and you can see my text is growing. So it's, it's, it's growing, and so what we want to now is just check to see if we can make that rotate. Uh, we can go up into um, object mode, and we go to transform, rotate. Okay, so let's try scale first. So there you go, scale it up. And that's it. Now we're going to rotate, and rotate is right here, so we're going to rotate, rotate, transform, rotate, so you can use the R key to do that, and then you're done. The old ones were hardwired, okay, right, yeah, and that's that. All right, so now we can just move that along the x-axis. Yeah, we should be able to move that. Oop. So you got Y here. You click on the Y to go up. We want to go up. Okay, that brings it up. And I'm thinking we're going to slide this over at some point. All right, anyway, we'll leave it like that. So you can see it's kind of three-dimensional looking. That's what we wanted. That's basically what you need to do. And then we need to export it. So let's just save our project, and we're going to save it. Um, and we'll call it, I'm going to call this uh, Blend. We'll call this Roar TV. Uh, two. Roar TV 2. I did one earlier. It looks okay. Save the Blender file to a place where you'll remember where it is. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to export 
this as a 3D Studio Max file. So export using that format. It'll be uh, going to 3D uh, Roar TV 2 because I don't want to overwrite the other one. Um, dot 3DS. Very important. Oh my goodness. Okay, 2 dot 3DS. 3D Studio Max and export. Okay, we're done. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is I want to see if I can bring that into um, that the file that we just created, the Roar TV file we just created into Photoshop. Okay, so let's go into Photoshop right now. And uh, we'll just zoom over there. And it's Photoshop 64 bit version that will be loading up. So um, you can see that working with a program like Blender is. Uh, quite involved and uh, that's why we're not going to do too much more in Blender uh, in this course other than create text that we can use in After Effects. So in a few moments my Photoshop will be loaded and we will try to uh, import that text into our project and we'll see what we can do with it. So Photoshop uh, will support many different formats and uh, the goal is we're going to uh, export it, uh, we'll save it as a PSD file once it's imported as 3D text. And that'll be uh, a way to go there. So uh, waiting for Photoshop to load, there it is. And now if I could just see what's going on with my text, I can... Uh, uh, unfortunately my window is kind of covered with this program. So anyway, what we're going to do, I'll do the uh, next part in a moment.